Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 37 of the B Graders. We are underneath the big tree. Britannia Park. Britannia Park is a very big tree. It's very green, it's very lush. Normally this is full of cuzzy bros playing rugby. Cuzzy bros playing rugby on a Saturday and a Sunday. But they're not here today. No jerry cans left behind, which is good no, to nothing. see. But, uh, no scaffolding. Bike racing, bike racing, bike racing. We had bike racing at the weekend and we had the State Road Championship. Now, first of all, very big thank you to everybody who has stopped myself, Toggers and Adam in the street about the interview that we did with Stephen Hall last week. Everyone said it was one of the best interviews they've seen. Nothing to do with me, certainly nothing to do with Adam because all he does is stand there behind the camera. Nothing to do with me, I weren't there. Wasn't even here, but it was everything to do with Stevie Hall. Doesn't get, we don't get to hear much from Stevie Hall when he speaks, usually. He normally speaks quietly too. Very quietly and doesn't say much at all, he just sort of just talks like that. But in front of the camera, he was perfect. He was quite Absolutely good. perfect. Quite good. So thank you for your feedback on that one. Uh, and it was great fun interviewing Stephen. And the best part about that interview as we're interviewing the defending state road champion. I can tell you now, he's now the back-to-back -back state road champion. He won the road title in York on the weekend. He beat very, very impressively, and Stevie was impressive, but a very impressive ride from Tom McCracken. Is he brother to Phil? I knew you were going to say that. No, it's not Phil McCracken's brother, your old boyfriend. Uh, Phil, it's oh, Tom, on, Tom McCracken. Well. I nearly said Phil McCracken. Tom McCracken ran second, and he said, you've got to talk me up, Matt. You gotta talk me up now. I said, well now you've done something, I can actually mention your name. So well done to Tom McCracken. And next time second. Tom McCracken races, I'm gonna call him Phil. He's gonna get called Phil during the Criterium season this year. Theo Yates was there and thereabouts. He ran with the bronze medal. He cramped with about 15K to go and never really recovered. Well done to Henry Pinnell, who animated the final lap of the bike race. Well done to everyone who lined up in the men's road title. Aaron Keneally, Holden Racing. I think, you know, daylight. Daylight, Daylight, Daylight second. Decade second, wasn't uh, it? She, it was no surprise that she won. She was always going to win it. She's that type of bite rider. She's the strong one. She's the pro. Corey Fillmore, well done. She took out second place, silver medal. And our lovely Melissa Robinson. We say that because Matt Upton told us to yeah. and he paid us. He but paid Melissa us. Robinson ran third. She did run third and that's amazing coming from a 70 year old woman. <laughs> <laughs> now, some of the other results that were out there. Michael Kent won the 30 to 39s. Sarah McLaughlin, I didn't know she was that old, but she won the 30 to 39 women. Brett Stableton, well done to Brett Stableton. He has now won the Criterium, the mountain bike race and the road race in the 40 to 49s. He took that one out. Brian Singh was second. Leon Vogels up there for third. And Sampson was fourth. Great ride to Sampson. Kylie Andersich won the 40 to 49 women. Tom O'Neill beat Gary Boylan in the See, that, 50 that plus. That Thailand preparation didn't really work for Gary, did it? Well, it did because it's 50 plus, And Tom's closer to 50 and Gary's closer to 70. So, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it could be 80. Could be 80, could be 102. Anyway, Anna Heights won the 50 plus women. Well done, Dan O'Donoghue and his team, which was me and Magnus and Alison and Rose and Natty Commons. Well done on setting up the bike race to all the volunteers who drove lead vehicles. Do you know who drove a lead vehicle? Here's an old name from the past hey. Lyle Withers. Is he still alive? Lyle Withers is still alive. I was surprised as and, well. And they let him drive. We, well, we let him drive the lead vehicle of the moment. But main they race. actually, he has a license. We have to give a big shout out to a man who now has a new nickname in cycling, Mark Hoyer, TotalTravel.com cycling team. His new nickname is The Highlander because somebody always well, has to go one. off course. There is only one. There is only one, and it was Mark Hoyer. Well, so, well done, than, Highlander. It's better than his old nickname, Mr. Goldstein. <laughs> Mr. Goldstein. Anyway, old <laughs> mate here fancied himself a bit of a time trial at the weekend. How'd that go? That was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. How was it, mate? Oh, very hard. It is very hard. Very windy. Out at Hopelands, the annual Gentleman's Two Up. Won by Matt Illingworth, still wearing no socks, and no his sock, partner, Sean Ralph. I think yep. it's Sean Ralph. And uh, our favourite. Our favourite old woman with a big time trialer's butt, as she likes to say, Amanda Narby, and Michelle McClintock won the women's. They won a pair of tyres each. They were very, very happy. They get four tyres or two tyres? Four. Oh, that's all right. Four tyres. Right. They were very happy. You should have seen the smiles on their face. Yep. And close enough to Amanda's birthday that people were just flocking around her the whole time. Flocking? Flocking. Flocking? 
Mm. Mm. There you go. See, they rode quite well. There was a hard course. There was a horrible headwind all the way out, followed by a magnificent tailwind on the way back. But you're so buggered from riding into that headwind on the way it out. It just didn't matter. Didn't matter too much. All right, it's just a short show for us this week. A little bit of housekeeping this weekend, November the 5th. West Coast Masters Cycling Club kicks off the crit season at Qdale for the first of their sponsored events, sponsored by Point of Racing System. So it's my event this week. Thank you very much, West Coast Masters, for allowing us to sponsor the events. So we should see a very big turnout out there this weekend. The weather's going to be good, and it's the week before Tourmaga River. Tourmaga River. Toggers is going to go down to Tourmaga River and see if he can win another trophy with the team. You got a good team this year, though. Yeah, good team. But no Marianne Voss. No, we got Marianne Voss. Oh, you got Marion Voss. He's got, got Marion Voss. Voss again. There's another so time trial this week. Who's no one's going to be there because they're all going to beat Qdub. Tell you what is on. A lot of A graders. I'm a little bit surprised by this, but there's a lot of A graders. West Australian A graders are not going to the Tour of Margaret River. Theo Yates, Stephen Hall, Matt Peterson, to name a few. I think Henry Pinnell's not going either because they're staying in town. Well, down South Town. They're riding the Rockingham Classic this weekend. KD Cycles are sponsoring part of the Rockingham Festival. There's A grade men. There's women, there's juniors, so big racing is on the 11th. And on November 18, the GB Super Crit, the Elite Race, the Women's Race, the Vets, the B Grade, the Juniors, and of course, the Legends Race. Now, the Legends Race, uh, if they all turn up as swelled to nearly 30 bike riders, you name them, and they will be there from Western Australia. And we've got our people flying in, Studio Grady, etc., etc. They will be here for the GB Super Crit. We've had to hire 20 extra uh, heart starters. We do have to have a couple. We do have to have a couple. So get yourself down to the Claremont Showgrounds on November 18th. Get yourself a photo with a few superstars. Gavin Parsons is riding Wayne Van Morsel, Jim Crinan. There's a few yeah. West Aussies turning up. A few West Aussies turning up. This is good. Borderline legends. WA legends, not world legends. Not like Studio Grady. Studio Grady, yeah. So guys, Anyway, we're going to give it a miss next week because it's Melbourne Cup Day and Adam will be drunk. So we're normally going to give it. We normally have to sober him up and get him here. Sober him up so he can drive home from here. Well, from under the big tree down here at Britannia Park, as they do the liquid fertilising in front of us, we'll see you next time.